What's up, Buttercup? I am really excited about today's video. I spent hours working on this little build challenge, and I can't wait to show you guys. Um, but James Turner, previously known as the Sim Supply, also I'm not sure if like I have to say that, but I feel like he's gonna come for me if I don't, because every time someone brings him up, they always mention him as the sim supply previously known as so i think that's kind of funny and i don't want like anyone coming for me so i'm just gonna make sure to mention that that was his previous handle anyways uh he is a builder and a guru here um in the sims world and what he has done is he built these two um masses here these two buildings and he kind of mimicked something across the way as you see all these buildings over here he did something very similar to what he saw across um, the ravine and he made the challenge that you were supposed to kind of fill this three um, square space so one two three panels four four floors high with whatever you could imagine and that was such a fun challenge so what I decided to do here I'll just bring you in right away um, first of all I just want to say he did such an incredible job mimicking these to what he was looking at it was it was quite cool to watch um, and he also did all of the landscaping and everything so really all I had to do was fill this space so what I've done here is rather than putting my entrance where these two start I decided for curb appeal, I would put the back end of my um, livable space in the front. So that kind of had a little bit of a cohesive um, vibe to it. And then I did end up making it flush, I believe. Oh no, actually I didn't. Well, I kind of made it flush to their front. Um, but I made a little bed garden here and what I did because they also had the challenge of making it into a tiny home. So mine is a tiny home, which means you can only use 100 squares. I think I ended up only using 84. I can't remember how. Yeah, 84 out of 100. And I did that um, being a little bit tricky, and I'll just explain to you what I've done throughout the video. But for now, this is uh, kind of what I've done. So I've raised these three so I didn't have to use any more squares here. I just built this out as a little bed and then I put this for privacy and of course a little bit of color because I love color. Um, so the red I felt was kind of a nice kind of homage to this almost Tudor style that they've got going on here. Um, but it also brings in like a nice ranch um, kind of um, presence as well. So this here is the backside. And we have this really cool feature that I'm excited and can't wait to show you in just a little while, but we'll gradually make our way up there. And then over here, we've got our entrance. I am so, so proud of my entrance here. I've done a lot of things and played with a lot of elements that, um, I don't know, I'm really proud of and I'm sure other people have thought of. So what I've done in, um, when you come in, you've got a nice little lounge area here um, where you sit and then you've got this nice... Um, kind of table. Hold on, I have to go down. Kind of pans out on me. Um, so that kind of ruins the effect, but you've got this nice little table here, which is actually like a nice little poof with some pretty flowers and a candle, which is a new one from, um, I think, Island Living. And this beautiful tile and candle. This nice kind of tweed rug. Um, and then a nice sitting area. Something I'm really proud of that I did though is this bike. Um, the idea to put it on the wall because I see a lot of small spaces mount things like their bikes on their wall. So that's what I've done here. I actually forgot to put in um, something to hold it. But normally I would put in this like one of these little brackets typically like I would do the square one or something like that this one's actually new to me this one's quite nice so I could size that down for example and then just like put it in um, and make it kind of appear like it's holding the bike up um, so I do that kind of stuff a lot um, which I think is really fun and just adds a little bit of a lived-in element um, and then I put some wood beams here just to kind of um, give it a little bit of privacy without completely cutting it off um, as well when you enter the home. So I'm gonna do 
another type of um, camera angle now. If I can remember how to do it, it's hard sometimes for me to remember. Yeah, so I can do this. Um, so I am getting used to this, so bear with me if this takes me a second to do. Okay, so we can move on in. And I'm really slow, and I don't know how to speed this up, so I hope you guys don't mind. But it's a very small space, so honestly, like, once I get in there, like, it's, it's not going to take that long. But here we are, just slowly, like, walking in, taking a little wander, walking in through the front door. We'd be a little bit shorter, I feel, maybe. I don't know, maybe not. You walk in. And here we have um, our resident who is just kind of testing this out. We'll say he's the real estate agent, making sure everything works. So first of all, um, we walk in and we have this cute little kitchen. I've switched it up a little bit. I watched a couple people do this video. Um, Simply Coco was the last one I watched. He did a really great job as well, so I'd suggest looking at his video. Um, and I got the idea originally from Della Gracie who originally got it from um, James Turner, um, previously known as The Sim Supply. Please don't come for me. And um, I kind of got influenced by all of them. I did notice that a lot of them put the kitchen on the main floor, which I didn't disagree with. They explain it in their videos as to why. But just to reiterate, all three of them actually, um, it's really just so... When you come into your space, you don't have to lug up all your groceries, um, which totally makes sense, and I agree with that point from everyone, and I realize in my own personal builds without thinking, I normally do put the kitchen on the first floor, but sometimes I don't, um, but typically I think I just kind of do that um, on instinct, um, and... Simply Coco decided to put it on the second floor. So I'm not sure why he did decide to do that. He did um, bring notice to the other two doing it a little bit different. Anyways, so I really don't like blocking windows with, like, appliances. Um, so I only did a half block here, but I don't like to put, like, the fridge in front of the window. Um, so I made sure not to do that. Normally I put the counter space there and I should have probably put the stove over on that side, but this works just fine. Um, and then I put a splash of color with the overhead, um, ventilator there and then some, um, some cabinets above. Sorry, I, it's, I've been working on this for so many hours. I'm like kind of brain fogged out. Um, we kind of went with the idea that whoever did live here um, was kind of thrifty and was trying to save money. Obviously, a unit like this, you're trying to save a little bit because you're kind of getting a really small property and just trying to do your best to make it work. So here's a better view of the full kitchen, which is quite small. So really, there's not that much to look at. Um... So what we've kind of went with for the storyline is maybe she got like a small roll of wallpaper, for example, and had a mixture of different flooring, so not everything's going to match. Um, she kind of thrifted paintings and things, and she did a lot of shopping at places like Target and um, Walmart and maybe Ikea, just so she could save a little bit of money, because they do have some really good deals available. So what I've done from here is, um, obviously if you're eating and stuff like that and snacking, unfortunately I didn't put a place to eat, though if it was nice and warm outside, maybe you could kind of eat outside. Um, but what I decided to do, um, since this was the eating area and I do like to have washrooms nearby, oh, that's cool, if you look inside you can actually see food, didn't know that. Um, I've never been in a place this tiny, it actually um, taught me something. Um, normally with an eating situation, I like to have um, a bathroom present as well. So what I've done here is I have separated the sink, so you kind of have a nice area to come and wash up. Um, a mirror here, just so you have a little bit more, um, kind of opens up the space a little bit. Um, is why I put that there. And then I have a cat or dog door. I'm not quite sure whose it is. I just got pets. And I don't know if they can actually use this, but what I've done, I'm just going to raise up a little bit here, is I have put that underneath the stairway here because that is all wasted space. So it would be amazing if your pet could actually use that space. You could put maybe a 
bed underneath that um, and they could sleep. I don't know if that would work, but my idea originally when I put this here was that could hypothetically be a place that you put storage. Um, so I was going to put boxes and clutter in here, but I think it would be a better use of space if I put like a doggy bed and maybe a dog dish in here. Um, that way, you know, they'd have their own space and they could sleep. Um, so I thought that would be fun. I've not actually done much with pets. I haven't done anything with pets yet, and I've had it for a little while now. So, yeah, that is the thought process behind that. Now we go into our water closet. So this just has a toilet. Um, I always call this the facilities. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I really don't like saying a toilet or a washroom. I don't know. Those were just... They're not fun words for me to say, so I enjoy saying, like, water closet, or I'll say um, facilities, um, and sometimes jokingly, um, like, if this was my house, I would put a picture of, like, the queen or someone royal, because um, when I was growing up, they used to always refer to it as the throne, and I thought it would be cute to have, like, um, someone royal up there. Um, or even Beyonce, the queen. I don't know, something funny. Um, but yeah, we decided to go with, um, this nice white, uh, this nice white plank flooring. Um, because again, maybe she thrifted something and she wanted to paint it because it kind of looked dingy. Um, and then all this paint and stuff, um, could have been pre-existing or possibly it was given to her by her neighbors. These doors also thrifted, um... I figured, anyways. Um, I've seen doors like that in thr um, thrift kind of areas as well, so that would be kind of cool. Anyway, so this is floor uno. Um, we've got some paintings here. I kind of felt like it would be a woman that lived here just kind of based on how I decorated it. Um, also, I have some, like, nice um, empowering photos up there, so maybe one of those could be her or someone that she admires as well. Uh, but honestly, a guy or a girl could live here. It really doesn't matter. Um, and then we go up, and again, all of the wall coloring and stuff, in theory, I figured she was gifted. Um, so I'm going to see if I can do this. I've done well at this before, so let's see. All right, so we come up the stairs. Oh, I did that okay. Oh, and then, hold on, i got to put the walls up. Oh, i got to go upstairs. Is that right? I don't know where I ended up. <gasps> so confusing. Okay. I am on the second floor, but I don't want to give it away too much. Um, okay. So now we can tab. Alright, so we are down there. But, hold on, I have to go down. Now I'm so, it is so confusing to do this. Alright, gotta really focus on this. <laughs> Going down, going down, going down, going down. Okay, so what I've done here is I have made these shelves. It's so hard to see um, in this view or in any view just because it's such a small space. But anyways, what I've done is I didn't want this to be wasted. So I've made this as a storage kind of shelving unit. And I also put this cute little plant here. Um, and essentially, the idea behind this was just to put things that, like, you didn't really... Whoa, that's funky didn't really need like some summer things. We've got suntan lotion, like towels and stuff. Um, this one I need to lower a little bit, so I'll come back and do that. Uh, mm, should I do that now? I should do that now. Don't be lazy, Isaiah. Um, ba, 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 ba. So this whole kind of idea, what is going on? My goodness. Um, was just to utilize wasted space and not just have to put like a painting again because I've done that so many times. Um, I just really wanted to do something a little bit more innovative um, for myself because I always seem to do similar things and I just wanted to kind of challenge myself a little bit. So yes, that's the whole point of this challenge and that's what I did. So I also put some books and things in here as well because I didn't want all of my clutter to look exactly the same. I imagine that there would be a little bit of, oh man, I guess I'll move this one back, um, variance in your clutter. So I did adjust it accordingly. I feel like that's showing through the side. Ugh. 
One thing about this small space is it's so hard to angle your camera. <laughs> um, but I will try my darndest. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna go back into my live mode because I'm kind of giving everything away. Oh no. Okay, and we're gonna go down, we're gonna go down, we're gonna go down some more. And yeah, and then just a little bit more clutter. And you could always like change it up to whatever you think um, really um, represents your character who lives here or whatever. But that's what I chose to do. Then I put these sunflowers with the blue because I love the contrast. And then I put blueprints just because I felt like this was a really cool build. So this is the perfect opportunity to put something like that. Plus it's blue, goes with my wall. And then a little um, reward thing there for such an innovative design. Um, which I'm not saying I did, but I am going to say the innovation came from the concept of doing such a small space. So that would really go to James Turner and probably some of you who came up with some really amazing ideas. So unfortunately, it's gonna kind of glitch out here, but I'm gonna walk through. So next we're in our living space. So I have tested everything in here because um, I want to make sure that it worked. I haven't actually had him eat in this corner with the blue electric chair, but I have had um, him sit in that chair and it works totally fine. Um, and I'm pretty sure these chairs work as well, because if that one works, these ones have to. Then we have a sink over here. So we did a very similar thing to what we did downstairs with the bathroom. We have another walk-in washroom. This one's a little bit longer. Um, so I really could put some, like, art and stuff in here, because now that I'm actually in here as a smaller being, it does feel a little lackluster. And then all of the lamps and stuff, again, I went with the concept that she would have kind of picked up a whole bunch of random pieces from a thrift store. So none of the fixtures really match. A couple of them match. Maybe she got a deal on uh, multiples. Uh, but I've definitely been to thrift stores where they have a whole bunch of like little appliances and things like that and light fixtures and like boxes um, from like overstock and stuff. So, uh, we want to put some greenery and some separation. So I put this green, um, fern here, maybe some music. Um, when I watched Della Gracie's, um, video, she said that people always wanted her to kind of fill up the space, especially with clutter. So I did do that, uh, to the best of my ability. Then I have these fun signs that kind of point to the washroom. We got that little guy running, like it's emergency. I don't know what that sign says. And then the arrow. Um, and then we have this fun little star mirror. So what I did with this light, I was actually really proud of this as well. Um, I'm really trying to challenge myself with um, innovative ideas, or innovative in my opinion. Um, so what I did here was this lamp, if you could look in, was originally this like log thing and then it was on top of a little coaster of wood which is fine but to be honest the only reason I wanted this light was for the top um, I can never remember what you call that on a lamp lamp shade um, so just because it was so boho and I really enjoyed that um, aesthetic so what I did was I put it in a that big massive blue vase, I shrunk it down, I fit it so um, the piece of wood, the branch, would fit right inside, and then I put a pool tile thing, I'm not quite sure what that was, um, over top, um, kind of to be like a marble slab, we'll pretend, of the wood piece, so that it kind of brought it back to a more modern, um, contemporary style. And then we have that nice little poof underneath. Um, so if you ever had guests over, you would hypothetically pull that out as would you do with this one. We have some more clutter over there as well. I went with this couch again because it had that kind of boho um, vibe, which I really love. And then we went with this um, interesting art piece just because it was a little bit abstract um, and fun and brought in a little bit of color here. Um, I put some nail polish because I was kind of thinking if it was, um, honestly, again, could be guy or girl, but um, typically, yeah, you would have, uh, if it was a girl, nail polish or something like that. 
um, that you could do while you're watching your show, or you'd have magazines or something. I thought that was kind of cute. Um, but yeah, my one of my best friends and I, we have nights where we'll get all glammed up. In fact, I have this funny thing that I did. Like, we'll do masks and stuff like that. Ugh, I have to get this out so I can show you. Um, but the other day, my friend had all this nail polish, and I bought this, like, weird mannequin thing so I can hold, like, a bag or something or my outfit for the day. But this goes on, like, a stand. But we painted the nails, which I thought was really funny. Um, she has one, too. And, yeah, that was just a really fun night. So, yes. That is where I got the idea. I was thinking of that night, and then I was like, oh, my, if my friend Janelle lived here, she'd probably have some nail polish on there ready. Then we have this little Canadian um, lantern thing. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. I'm Canadian, so I want to pretend that whoever lives here is also Canadian. Maybe it's autumn, so I've given them some nice... Um, festive decorations, autumnal decorations, and this lovely blue vase. One of, oh wow, this is a real glitchy. Um, I'm gonna get out of this, not this view, but angle. Um, yeah, I don't know where I was. That just tripped me out too much. And then again, more blue, blue cushions. You get the vibe. Um, and then we have this lovely little television here, which also works. So you can sit at this couch and watch um, the television. So I was trying to be very cautious with my spacing but now that I look at it I feel like I shouldn't have a rail or if I did have a rail maybe I should have made this one glass because um, if we take a gander at this say you're sitting am I in the couch um uh, you can see honestly I'm not that picky so like I'd be okay with this I think your viewpoint would be about here um, maybe if you were laying down, it would be kind of like this or this, but even then, like, it's not too bad. I could be really finicky with this, but, oh, also this is our windows. Um, I have this nice little feature where it's blocked off. Wow, that is weird. Um, anyways, okay, let's see if I do this right. Okay. Oh. Uh. Okay, we're going to go up a floor. All right, so now we are in, oh, now we are in, oh, okay, our third floor. So this floor, excuse you, this floor is our, why? Why is it doing that to me? Is our bedroom. So what I have decided to do here, and I, I kind of need to play with it a little bit more, I came up with the concept that maybe not on the first few floors you wouldn't really have a window because then you'd be kind of looking into, I guess it could be like a courtyard or at that point you kind of would be looking through your neighbor's window. But I thought maybe when you get a little bit higher you might want a window um, available. So technically there would be windows on this side as well. What I did here, I was kind of struggling for like artwork to put on the wall because to be honest, I don't love the artwork that they have in this game. Um, and maybe I'm a little bit of a critic just because I personally um, like to dabble in art and so do a lot of people who are very important to me in my life and they're really great artists. Um, so I wish there was just a little bit more variation for art, but anyways. Um, I do, however, really love these. So I put this. I'm going to pretend that maybe this girl had a friend who was an artist and she commissioned them to do this really cool piece and then she installed it over one of the windows. And then I just had her board up these two windows here. The original idea here was to put some art over top of the boarding, but unfortunately the way paintings go on the wall in The Sims, um, it kind of automatically wants to click onto the wall, so it won't go in front of the paneling. I'm sure there's a way I could finesse that, I just kind of gave up at that point. Um, if you're wondering why these are empty on these lots, it's so you wouldn't exceed the tiles, because every time you put a flooring tile down, that counts as a tile towards your um, tiny housing or whatever. Um, I've never made a tiny house. This is actually my first one. So that's why these are empty if you're curious. 
Um, I did try out this bed. I had to finesse it so it's inside the wall and not every bed work. Um, not every bed will work for you. So I decided on this one. It ended up working pretty good with the color scheme because I wanted to go um, with a little bit of like a green emerald color scheme. Um, and I don't mind this bed. It's not my favorite bed, um, but it worked okay for this. So you can sleep on the one side and hypothetically you should be able to shift over. But recently, um, not recently, I think it was 2015 um, in James Turner's video, he actually references that. Um, that's when they found out that there was a glitch and they could no longer shimmy over to the other side of the bed because you can't actually enter it on this side. This um, staircase is going to be in the way, but I think you would actually be able to sleep there otherwise. Either way, it doesn't really matter. This bed, or this is kind of just a comp, like a contest. You could, not a contest, it's um, a challenge. Um, but anyways, you could kind of finesse a room so that it actually works um, a little bit more, like, I don't even know, man. <laughs> so it works better. Um, you can use this dresser. I did try that. This light doesn't get in the way um, of sleeping. Yeah, everything in here works. I tried the shower. I do have this television. Um, it does have a swivel, so my idea was maybe you watch some television while you're in the bathtub. Um, maybe put on, like, a nice Netflix series, watch some of my videos on YouTube as I make them. Um, or Della Gracie's or James Turner's, because they're all super fun. And I am obsessed with watching Sim videos lately. I don't know. We're in the middle of this, like, quarantine, and I just can't get enough. It's a nice little escape from reality, I gotta say. Um, also downstairs, I didn't mention this, but I wanted to try to, again, try to think of this Sim as being someone on a budget. So she really liked the idea of the raw bricks, so we tried to keep it as much as we could. Um, and normally, she would try to keep it the same brick, but downstairs, you're just trying to kind of save a little bit of money, and it was kind of a space that was um, utilized for friends, um, and just fun, and watching television, and playing games, so she didn't really care that they weren't matching. Um, also, I think, if I didn't change it, I did try to do that with the chairs, too. I didn't want these chairs to all match, because I wanted it to seem like she kind of picked everything up individually. Um, or was gifted something and some pieces and got them throughout her moves. I was going to put something else on here, like a little box of tissues or something, but I guess I forgot. Um, I did put this mirror as a little divider. I did a half wall and then a three-quarter or so wall here with the tiles, and I really like how that turned out. And then I kept the wood um, as cohesive as I could. I tried to keep darker woods, but... As you know, not all swatches really match in this game, which, to be honest and to be fair, do make sense in real life. A lot of things that I have um, in real life really don't match the way I would like them to. It's just not always how it works. Um, anyways, let's go in here. I am going to pop up these stairs. I'm just going to try to do it the like cool way. You know what? It doesn't actually end up working, so we're just going to go down. Um... Oh, I gotta go on my, like, right. Right. Okay. So you come in here. I've got this little board. Uh, maybe for thinking. Or maybe for thinking. Maybe for mapping out your day. Um, obviously, there are prices on here, which doesn't really make sense. Maybe we work at a cafe and we're trying to figure things out. Or we want to make sure that we have caffeine at some point in our day because it's very important. Um, at least for me. I don't know. Uh, so what we've done here, I actually got this idea from, okay, hello. I got this really cool idea. This is really annoying me. Um, from, I'm just going to sit back for a second. From a Kate Emerald video, she taught me how to actually go ahead and do a sunroof um, livable space. And then also there was a video from Lil Simmy where she did... Um, a challenge herself where she had this kind of crazy shape and someone had to make something out of it and in that shape um, one of the challenge winners I guess I didn't win anything but they were um, referenced in her video did something very similar I can't remember the name of that person but please go ahead and watch her video where she does a challenge of like this really funky 
um, she house I think she references a dragon in the title um because someone actually made a dragon out of her house so watch that video and hopefully that gives reference to um the person that also gave me this idea but anyways you go in here and you have a bookcase because I figured she needed a little bit more for skill building um again another random lamp and then I'm gonna oh that's too low well anyways I love this rug so we get to get um, close and personal. We used a little bit more of that flooring because we had a couple boards left. We're kind of pretending. Um, and then a little Ikea desk, we'll assume. Then we have a nice little Ikea lamp, a beautiful electric blue chair because we got a deal on this and the other one. Um, we do all our work here. So we work from home, maybe. Um, and then over here, we just have some clutter to kind of use up that space. I could have also put a plant in there because this is a perfect space for some foliage. You would get really great lighting in here, so I should probably think of doing that soon as well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what this area looks like. Then you go into my patio, which is another thing I am really proud of as well. So what we've done here is we have made a little bar for you and your friends. So maybe you make the drinks or your friends make the drink and you can have two people out here. Um, you could probably have more if you got rid of the barbecue, but I like the barbecue. Also gave her a splash of color as well. Um, this whole idea was to kind of have a space um, that was a little bit of a getaway for your character to go work and kind of like relax. We have a little cooler here as well so they can kind of get their beverages and their ice and everything. Um, and then I imagine their um, bottles from the bar. And then here, I am, again, super proud, but the only thing I have to say I don't love is for some reason, if you see, like, under the lattice there, there's, like, this weird white bar, and I don't know why that exists, but I can't get rid of it, so it's there. So what I've done here is I um, put two walls, and then I slanted them, and then I took a window, this like lattice window, put it on either side so that this um, like unit kind of looks like two opening um, doors, which I was really, really um, proud of and excited about. And then I used really small piping because this is something I would actually do. Um, and I fastened those, fastened those to the doors so that they look like they were able to be pulled in. I imagine your sins have long arms. Um, or maybe they like kind of finesse it and then when it's close enough they can pull those. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's what I decided here. And they kind of look like they would kind of fit together. I don't know. You have to use your imagination really, but I was really proud and happy about that. Also brought in a little bit more wood element. Um, and then I put these lovely, beautiful roses, and I put these um, shelving units here so that your guys' um, guests could put the glasses down and plates and whatever um, while they're kind of chatting and connecting. I was going to do a little bit more for this lighting. I kind of just lazily threw it up. Um, which honestly I'm sure a lot of people would do anyways, so I guess it's a little bit more realistic that way. Um, but I was originally going to kind of finesse it around this lattice that I will show you next. Um, this idea I got originally from Della Gracie, and then I realized that, um, James Turner used it in his build, and then I also realized that, like, just everyone uses this, like, lattice kind of, um, arbor or whatever. So I really don't know who to credit with that, but I've seen it in so many videos now and I love it and I think it's really pretty. So yeah, I did it as well. I think I might put some like lanterns coming down here. I think that might be kind of cute, but yeah, so I have it here over top of this. It was just like really bothering me. It was just like a white top of the wall. Cause it doesn't paint it when you, um, paint like the sides of the wall because um, it's not really meant to be used this way so I put this on top just because it was kind of bothering me that this was just blank and then I have this like little space here which um, you guys will have to assume has some drainage underneath the rocks and then I just put a Yoda because I didn't know who else to put up there um, but he's so cute and 
He's trendy, so why not? Um, yes, and then I put some more of these things in here. So this is the full video. This is everything I have done. I feel like it was so much easier to describe than it was to build, but it was a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed it. Also, I wasn't sure to go this one or to go this one, so I just went with this because my windows are square and, I don't know, shapes. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys like it, and I hope you guys also do this as well because I'm super curious to watch what you guys come up with. Um, I had a lot of fun, and I think I'm going to take another crack at this down the line as well. But for now, this is what I've done, and yeah, I had a really good time. So thanks so much, James Turner, Della Gracie, and Simply Coco for all of your great ideas and for inspiring me to do this video. I will put everybody in the link below, um, and I will also put this video up, or I'll be putting this video up maybe tonight or tomorrow, and then I will be putting this build up um, tomorrow. Just make sure you guys have um, bb.move objects on, because if you don't, then things will kind of move out of whack or just like disappear or whatever. So I'll make sure to reference that as well. But thank you guys so much. Sorry, I just need to make sure I'm on the stop recording part. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's the first one I think I'm going to upload. I'm probably not going to put a lot of like editing stuff into this. Um, and it's going to my regular channel, which honestly, I have so many random videos on there. This will eventually become a series. I'm going to do a lot of Sims videos because these have really been getting me through the quarantine. Um, so I will probably have a separate channel dedicated to only Sims stuff. Um, because I've been kind of focusing in on that. I've made so many videos, just like vlogs. I do all these videos and then I never upload them but it's kind of like a fun way for me to express myself creatively. Um, so yeah, but this one, I really hope I upload because um, it was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, my speed build of this just stopped recording. Um, so I spent four hours recording and it just disappeared. Um, maybe it started the first little while, um, but the rest definitely disappeared. So I'm not even gonna bother uploading that. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys soon. I will try to upload videos as often as I can because I have nothing but time. So, thanks. Stay safe. Bye.